Hey everyone, before I get into this video, be sure to drop a like on it, subscribe for more content, and enter our Nintendo Switch Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Bundle giveaway through the Gleam.io link down in the description. Now, I have some disturbing news for some of you. Other people might not care because this is an extremely common practice. But Nintendo appears to be handing over account information, including email addresses and potentially phone numbers, to Facebook. Now, this is being done for advertising purposes, but you can actually find this for yourself on Facebook. And now, right now, we know it's the Nintendo UK digital store and also Nintendo Switch, whatever that is supposed to mean. Uh, but chances are that this is just a policy Nintendo is using worldwide because, again, this is really common. And you'll see when you look at the list on Facebook. So, first, let's go to NintendoSoup.com, which is where I discovered this news, and check out what it has to say there. All right. So as you scroll down here, this was actually discovered by a Reddit user, uh, Valkyrie, and I will put a link to the Reddit thread down in the description as well as a link to Nintendo Soup. And as you'll see here, uh, you could go under Advertisers and Businesses page on Facebook, which shows the companies that passed over in user information to Facebook for advertising purposes. And it says, These advertisers have run an ad in the past seven days using a list uploaded to Facebook containing your information, typically an email address or phone number. Facebook matched the uploaded information to your profile. And obviously this person here has, you know, other things that they're getting their information from, like Netflix and Humble Bundle, Instagram, BBC Sound, Gearbox, but Nintendo UK Store and Nintendo Switch. Um, yeah, now this is, you. everyone can actually look this up for yourself on Facebook uh, and see where they're getting information about you from uh, for advertising purposes because uh, they are required by law to have that, that information publicly available. So you can go see as well. I'm a Netflix subscriber, so they already have my information from Netflix, I'm sure. Uh, and this is, again, an extremely common practice. So I'm not here to destroy Nintendo over sharing their information with Facebook so they can advertise to you. Uh, I know a lot of people obviously don't like Facebook specifically because uh, they potentially sold your information to political um, activist groups and led to a whole bunch of different things. And there was that big government hullabaloo over all of it. And in general, there's just some people who really don't like Facebook. I personally still use Facebook, um, but I kind of gave up on my privacy on the internet ages ago. Heck, I'm a public figure who uses my name in every single video. Hey, I'm Nathaniel Rumble Jance. Like, uh, it's not that hard to find information about me. So I'm not uh, hiding anymore. I've just accepted that uh, I am who I am. That being said, uh, this obviously is going to bug a lot of people and might make you think twice about logging in or even creating a Nintendo account in the future, and I can't blame you for that. Now again, I don't think this is the biggest deal in the world, but there are people that are going to be bothered by this. There are people that try really, really hard to keep their information out of those grubby advertiser hands because you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know if they're going to get hacked. I mean, the more your information is passed around, the more likely it is to be hacked or, or handed over to a dubious company. Uh, and maybe to you, Facebook is a dubious company. I have no idea. Uh, you know, there's a lot of people that won't even make Google accounts or uh, even use Google.com uh, just because they're worried about them gathering information about them. You know, whenever you go to websites or on YouTube and you see ads that are targeted specifically to you, uh, that's because they're gathering information about you. And yes, technically all of this is in the TOS. All of it is in the end user's license agreement. They openly admit they do these things, but how many of us actually read those things, right? They're several pages long, lots of boring legal mumbo jumbo. Nobody really reads them. So we just kind of agree without realizing what we're agreeing to. It's a common mistake everyone makes, including myself. Uh, as I said, though, the difference with me is I've given up all my rights to privacy. Um, I even, you know, in my attempts to keep my phone number from going public, to keep my address from going public, you could still find it if you look hard enough. Not telling you to look. I'm not telling you to call me and show up at my house. What I'm just saying is it's not that hard to find information on me if you want i'm not hiding from anyone uh but a lot of people care a lot more about their privacy for various reasons safety reasons as uh, is, is a big example i can think of not having your identity stolen uh, i guarantee you no one can steal my uh social security number because <laughs> uh, my social security card has been completely destroyed <laughs> So, good luck. Um, I don't really use it on anything but a very secure tax document uh, that I can't even access right now. So, uh, yeah, it's 
it's just a lot of hullabaloo out there. Um, again, this doesn't bother me, but I wanted to make you guys aware of this because it was not known that Nintendo was sharing their information with any advertisers. Uh, because if you think about it, nothing is really advertised on Switch that isn't already going to be advertised on Switch, right? In the news section or whatever. But this is on Facebook. Nintendo is willing, willfully, anyway, sharing your Nintendo account information with Facebook so they could better target ads to you on Facebook. So even if you have a Facebook account and you have everything set, all, all the things set to private and blah, 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 you're sick of the targeted ads, you're sick of this, you're sick of that, and they still target ads because they have information from your, your profile on your Switch. So it's disturbing for some people. For me, it's just what I've accepted in even attempting to use the Internet. Um, if you're using the Internet, privacy has gone. There, there's ways, VPNs and firewalls and... Um, you know, uh, different ways you can reroute things and change your IPs up and make it so you can be truly anonymous on the internet. But anytime you sign up for somewhere and use information that you consider to be personal, be it phone numbers, emails, credit card information, all of that is getting shared around. You would like to think the credit card information is always encrypted, but even we know there's been failures in the past of certain companies where that stuff has gotten out and has gotten hacked and has gotten leaked and people had to go change all their credit cards and stuff like that. So again, this is just kind of, I'm not trying to create any anger here at Nintendo because, uh, again, they're not doing anything that's out of the norm for businesses that have online stuff. But, you know, I, I don't hear about this coming up a lot with Xbox or PlayStation. And so that is something to be a little bit more concerning with, I guess, in comparison to the other competition out there because they don't seem to be sharing their information with Facebook in particular. I'm not sure why. Uh, but maybe it's just because they have that closed off ecosystem and they want to close off everything to that ecosystem and let their users know, look, you're the, we're the only people you're giving information to. Uh, Nintendo, on the other hand, at least in the UK, appears to be like, hey, you know what? Um, we don't care who has your information uh, as long as it's only for advertising purposes. So I don't know what to tell you. Um, I get targeted ads on YouTube all the time, so it's a little weird for me to even have this conversation as someone who just doesn't care. I can't tell you how many times I've had a Lining Kugels ad pop up, and for those who don't know, Lining Kugels is literally uh, made in my hometown. So obviously that's targeted to me, whereas somebody who's living a few states away that doesn't even have that beer in their, uh, in their vicinity wouldn't see a Lining Kugels ad. Uh, and they gather my information through a billion ways, despite the fact that I use a VPN. So um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, don't forget to drop a like again. Let me know what you think about all this. Is this concerning to you? Is this not a big deal? Uh, I also have another video coming a bit later today um, about a certain video game coming to Switch, but I'm not 100% sure what to think about it uh, yet, and I'll tell you why when I get to that video. Anyways, thank you for tuning in. Go Bucks today. Let's try to go up 3-1 in those playoffs. One step closer to the Eastern Conference Finals. I am Nathaniel RoboJads from Nintendo Prime, and I'll catch each and every one of you guys in the next video.